you guys see how foggy my lens is? It is so humid here in Mississippi. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a braces appointment today. It's been 10 weeks, I counted, 10 weeks since my last appointment. And that's a long time. My appointments kept getting rescheduled because of this whole um, coronavirus. Yeah, so I'm on my way to my appointments right now. It is 11.37, my appointment's at 11.50. It's right down the street, so I'm gonna go ahead and head over there. But yeah, I'm not sure what they're gonna do today. It could be a quick appointment. I don't think it is because it's been a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over there and I'll update you guys afterwards. All right, you guys, so I just got here. It is um, now 11.44, so yeah, literally like a couple minutes down the street. But they said to text them my name and what car I'm in when I get here, and they also said to wear a mask when you go inside. So I'm gonna text them right now and see what they say. I'm just sitting out here in the front of the office waiting to have someone come up to my car i don't know if i'm supposed to go in or what so but i have a mask um i don't see anybody walking in so i think i'm just gonna stay out here but i don't want to be late it's 11:48 now i'm conflicted yeah i don't know if i'm supposed to go in okay so i just got a text saying thanks we will be with you shortly so i'm gonna stay in here chill out until they come out okay Cool. Yeah, so like I was saying, it's been 10 weeks since my last appointment. It feels like forever. So when I got my braces on, they tell you 18 months is like a, around how long you're gonna have your braces. My 18 month mark was April 11th. So it's getting, it's creeping up on my 20 month mark with braces. So we're actually supposed to be leaving Mississippi, moving back to san diego in a couple months so i better be done with my braces appointments before this whole coronavirus thing happened i was scheduling appointments more frequently to get my braces finished quicker so and then this whole virus thing happened and my braces appointments got totally messed up i missed like two appointments which are, are crucial with braces so yeah that's where um i'm at right now but yeah so i'll bring you guys in there with me to see because i'm just as clueless as you guys are so <laughs> Don't forget your goodie bags. Okay. Just got you a goodie bag with some stuff you have to know what you want. Good grief. Everything's on the show. Yes. I will not say. Will not say. Will not say. I don't look so graceful on this video. <laughs> it's okay. So I guess it's for me. <laughs> Like if you're recording for 20, 25 minutes, it'll overheat. Uh -huh. So you can kind of do it in like spurts. Yeah. So if I want to do like a long video, like a tutorial or something like that, it overheats. So it's not good for that. But like, it's a good camera. Yeah. It is, yeah. Cool. Wow, this feels... It feels weird, huh? Yeah. And you're going to wear these all the time except you eat. You okay. have to eat. We're actually put them back in when you're done. Okay. So put a new one in. You okay. use the same one because 
it's rubber, it loses its elasticity. Okay. So you're gonna change about four or five times a day. Okay. All right. Oh wow, that feels so weird. It does feel very weird. Like it feels like I'm numb, kind of. But. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you so much. All right, you guys. So I just left the dentist. I mean, orthodontist. I'm gonna go get some Starbucks, and then I'll update you guys when I'm in the Starbucks line because the Starbucks line is always like 20 minutes long. So I'll just talk to you guys when I'm in that line. So uh, there was a slight change of plans. I didn't go to Starbucks because I drove over there, and the line was wrapped around the store. So, so yeah, I'm at Walmart right now. I need to get some stuff for some fish tacos. I'm gonna make tonight for dinner. So I have the bands on right now and they feel really weird She said I have to wear them all day besides when I eat and to change them at like four times a day So so pretty much like take them out before I eat and then put some new ones in after I eat so they don't hurt at all It's just a weird feeling and they're like rubbing against my cheeks when I do this It was a quick appointment. It was like 10. It was like 15 20 minutes maybe like if not even 20 minutes. I am kind of disappointed that I have an appointment all the way set to July 22nd. It's way later than I expected to have braces on, but you know, it's kind of like you kind of have to just go with the flow because you don't know how your teeth are gonna progress. So, and like I said before, because of this whole virus thing, like it just delayed everything. So it's it's whatever, like I can't control it. So she said my teeth are looking good and they have come a very long way from when I got them on. If you haven't seen that video, when I, the first day I got my braces on, I'll link it below so you guys can check it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and run in there, put my mask on and run in there and then I'll be back. Okay, so um, I kind of wanted to just sit down and give you guys a little formal update on my braces. So like I said before, my last appointment was 10 weeks ago and a day to be exact, but um, it was a quick appointment. All she did was change the power chains on my teeth. And I was looking forward to that because they were starting to get kind of yellowish because I drink coffee every day and I have the silver silver power chains so they kind of change color pretty quick if you do drink coffee so i was looking forward to that to get a fresh set of power chains and then also she gave me she attached some hooks on the top and the bottom so i can start to wear rubber bands so this is my first day with rubber bands it feels like i have locked jaw right now but i'll show you guys those so i'm wearing them from here to here wow and here to here. This is about how much I can open my mouth, like without stretching it too far, like that. But yeah, so she said that I have to wear those all day besides when I'm eating, so I take them out before I eat and then I put a fresh set of rubber bands on after I eat um, because she said they're obviously elastic so they're gonna lose their elasticity so if you wear the same ones all day they're not gonna do what they need to do so as of right now I don't have any pain I'm so happy that I got new power chains because I was I was feeling a little dingy so I'm gonna take out my bands right now because I'm about to eat because I haven't eaten lunch and I'm starving so I'm gonna take them out on camera for the first time because she put them on I didn't put them on so let's see how this goes So it's just on a hook, like, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's one side. And this is how tiny the little rubber band is. Should I reuse these? Cause I barely have them on. Now I'm gonna put new ones on. Okay, so they're super easy to take off. So these are the little hooks that she put in. This thing and right here. I'm gonna come back on and show you guys me putting them back on and see how that goes. So I figured I might as well just show you what I'm eating real quick. So this is a Think Bar. It's a quick snack if you want to get your protein in. This one's really good. I bought two boxes of these, the peanut butter ones, cause these ones are really good also. I'm making a healthy smoothie right now. Okay, so so far I have um, a mix of organic 
what is it? Organic Super Smoothie Mix. I get this from Costco. It's so good. It has blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, kale, spinach, and bananas in it. So good. And they are individually packaged like this. So it makes it easy to just throw it in the blender. And then I like to add this Organifi Green Juice. It's like a super smoothie, super food powder. This has a lot of really good things in it. I'm not about to name everything because it does have like just a whole bunch of stuff. But it's really good. Then I like to add a huge handful of kale. So I like to put a lot of kale in here. So like two huge handfuls like this. So after the kale goes in, I like to put maybe like one and a half cups of almond milk, maybe two cups, and then almond butter. I just splattered myself. So I put about two tablespoons of almond butter inside my smoothie. And then we're gonna add just a little squeeze of agave, not too much, but just a little bit. I'm just gonna clean up later because whatever. This is so good to me. It's probably definitely an acquired taste because of all the greens. Like you definitely can taste greens, but honestly, it's so good. Like I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink my smoothie and eat my bar and then brush my teeth and then put the rubber bands back on. Okay, so I just finished my smoothie. Kind of just like swished water around in my mouth. I don't feel like brushing my teeth right now. And these little things are a lifesaver if you have braces. Okay, so here's the little bags that she gave me of the rubber bands. So. All right there. I'm gonna use the mirror. And I. There. Oh. Okay. Easy. That was easy. Okay, it's on. Ouch! Oh god. Where'd it go? Oh, my spit is making this so slippery. Okay, finally, I finally got them on. I think it'll definitely be easier like once I get the hang of it, but I'm just making sure they're on all the way. Cause if it's not, if it's, cause the little hooks, they look like kind of like a Y. And the first time when I snapped myself, it was only on, I guess, half of it. So it snapped. <laughs> So make sure they're on around both little prongs because then you'll get snapped. I'm gonna bring you guys along next month and update you guys then. But until then, stay tuned for my next video. Please like the video if you did like it. If you liked me, please subscribe. It helps me out so much, even though you don't realize it. Leave me a comment down below if you have elastics, are new to elastics like me. And if you ever snapped yourself, let me know. Also, before I forget, I want to give my comment shout out to Eric Osso. He just started his braces journey here on YouTube. I think he does some braces updates also, but go ahead and check him out. And if you want a chance to be shouted out in one of my videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.